Leaving East Glacier this morning. What do you mean I can't hunt on no golf course? <sighs> well, now I gotta redo that. <laughs> Leaving East Glacier this morning on September 13th. <laughs> no hunting on the golf course. <laughs> what do you mean I can't hunt out there? <laughs> <laughs> I love Montana. <laughs> CDT, baby. seven miles or so to two medicine where we're gonna figure out um, all of our backcountry permits here we go baby here we go the stage is set and the final act is just about to begin I cannot be more excited to finish my triple crown here in Glacier I thought we were already in Glacier but hey Glacier National Park, baby. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I just can't, can't believe it's almost over. Looks like we're heading into some really amazing country. Oh, I can't wait. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Glacier has been on the top of my list for a while. I would happily video more, um, but the weather, unfortunately, has kind of turned sour on us. It's been, uh, it's just kind of rain showers on and off. I don't know if you can tell, but the forest is pretty wet, um, and the wind is just absurd, uh, crazy. I mean, they're saying like 55 miles an hour up on the saddles and stuff, so crazy wind gusts and Hmm, I'd love to video more because it's beautiful out of these trees. The mountains on either side are just insane. Um, but, oh well, maybe tomorrow will be better. The next two days after that are supposed to be great. So, looking forward to it. Um, heading up about a 2,000 foot climb now and then out to <clears throat> Atlantic Creek Campground, I think. We got our permits all fixed up at the backcountry office and should be wrapping this baby up on the morning of the 17th. <laughs> Absolutely insane. This is amazing. It's been hailing on us for a little while now, but and like I said, the weather's just weird. There's a blue sky there and different patches, but oh well. Are you videoing and that's gonna be in the background now? Yep. <laughs> Gorgeous. Heading up to that pass. This is unreal. Hemlock spotted some bighorn sheep that I did not see until he pointed them out. Not really the best view, it's obstructed by that 
dead tree, but there they are. There's a little baby one right in the middle there looking at me. This is insane. Maybe the most beautiful pass I have ever seen. Maybe Pemmican Pass? I can't really remember the name. But right, check this out. Let me get up here. Morning Star Lake. Got another three miles or so to uh, till our campsite, Atlantic Creek maybe, something like that. There's mountain goats up there, right in the middle of the screen. Those are some crazy animals. So there's some there, and then there's even more just on the wall up there. I'm not really in the best spot to see them like I was before, but those guys are crazy. How do they get up there? How do they get down? Questions. September 14th this morning. Sorry about the wind noise. There's just nothing I can really do about it. Not happy about this weather. Top of Triple Divide Pass. A little above 7,000 feet, I think.
So the weather just has not cooperated with us at all for a while now, really before Augusta. We've just had rainy, cloudy days. Um, and just kind of, unfortunately today it's kind of getting to me and I'm a little upset that it's not just a, you know, perfect bluebird day. Of course that's, you know, those are high expectations, but I'm kind of pouting about it a little bit. I should probably stop complaining because it could be worse. Um, but I do, I do wish it was better. Um, oh well, the, this is the first place today uh, on the 14th that it's not just insanely windy. Um, so again, I don't know if y'all even heard me on the other side of the pass. I apologize for the wind noise. I never got a microphone for this camera and I know that's really irritating, but um, there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, but hope the wind goes away, which is supposed to be windy again tomorrow. Um, but whatever. Anyways, there's a beautiful waterfall behind me. This is a really cool place. I love it. I love it. I think if the weather keeps up this way, I'm going to have to come back and do the whole Bob Marshall Wilderness and this section again. So like the last 220 miles or so on the trail. There's a little bit of sun. That's kind of what we've been getting here and there. It's just it'll break through and then it'll go right back. But whatever. Still having a blast and only have about 19 more miles or so today to Reynolds Campground, I believe. And so it should be pretty easy. It's super easy terrain after coming over Triple Divide Pass, which was a cool place. Um, I don't know, I don't know the aspect and you know which way, but one side all the water went to the Atlantic, the other side the Pacific, and then another side uh, to Hudson Bay. So thought that was pretty neat. Uh, I couldn't really say it up there because of the wind, but I'm having a blast, and it's uh, it's getting closer every step. So gonna finish up on the 17th. First day without wet feet in like a week. <laughs> we refuse. Not shoes wet. I took my shoes off a whole bunch of the winds too. Cutting off two miles. <laughs> my footy.
So these backcountry sites are tiny, but we made it work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did you say fix them?